Chennai Metro Phase 2, Focus on Corridor 3, Madhavaram to Sipkat, OMR IT Corridor. The Chennai Metro Rail Limited, CMRL, has embarked on an ambitious Phase 2 project, designed to enhance urban connectivity and ease traffic congestion in the city. This phase encompasses three major corridors and includes the construction of elevated and underground sections to integrate various parts of Chennai more efficiently. Despite facing setbacks, particularly along the old Mahabalipuram Road, OMR, as per recent news reports, the project is back on track with renewed efforts and commitments. The Chennai Metro Rail Limited, CMRL, has resumed construction on the Sholingan Alar Sipkit stretch of the old Mahabalipuram Road, OMR, a significant segment of the Phase 2 project. This comes after months of suspension due to contractual issues. This video provides a detailed analysis of the historical context, planning, and progress made so far in the Chennai Metro Phase 2 project, focusing on the Sholingan Alar Sipkit corridor along the old Mahabalipuram Road, OMR, while highlighting technical details, facts, figures, and the current status. Details for this video has been gathered from various news reports of May 23, 2024, May 22, 2024 and May 16, 2024. Hi friend! Welcome back to SciTech Buzz One channel. We wish to sincerely thank all the new subscribers of this channel. We have observed that 97% of our returning viewers, more than 18,000 in number and first-time viewers totaling more than 75,000 in number, haven't subscribed to our channel. If you haven't as yet subscribed, kindly consider doing so, after watching this video, since it would help us reach our first self-set target of 10,000 subscribers and encourage us to do more. Watch this interesting video until the end so that you will not miss out on all the details. Historical Context and Planning Overview of Chennai Metro Phase 2 The Chennai Metro Phase 2 Project valued at 61,843 Indian rupees crore, aims to extend the metro network by an additional 116.1 kilometers. It includes three primary corridors. 1. Corridor 3, Madhavaram to Sipkat, 45.4 kilometers. 2. Corridor 4, Lighthouse to Punamali, 26.1 kilometers. 3. Corridor 5, Madhavaram to Sholinganalar, 47 kilometers. This phase is intended to cover critical regions of Chennai, including the northern parts of the city and the significant IT corridor along the OMR, thereby enhancing connectivity across Chennai. These corridors are strategically designed, focusing on high traffic areas and underserved regions. The project aims to decongest road traffic, reduce travel time, and provide a reliable alternative to personal and road transport. Initial Challenges and Contractor Issues The construction work along OMR stretch of Corridor 3, particularly from Sholinganalar to Sipkat, had been suspended for several months due to the termination of a subcontractor's contract for unspecified reasons. This disruption resulted in a delay of approximately three to four months. Recently, CMRL engaged a new subcontractor to resume the project. A ceremonial event marked the beginning of the piling work, symbolizing the official restart of construction activities. Technical Details and Progress Corridor 4, Lighthouse to Punamali Corridor 4 extends from Lighthouse to Punamali, encompassing several key urban areas and providing significant connectivity improvements. Portions of this corridor, such as Punamali to Por, are expected to be among the first to open by 2026. Corridor 5, Madhavaram to Sholinganalar. Corridor 5 runs from Madhavaram to Sholinganalar, integrating with Corridor 3 at Sholinganalar and providing a comprehensive network across northern Chennai and the OMR. Corridor 3, Madhavaram to Sipkat. Corridor 3 Specifications. This corridor is crucial as it links the northern parts of Chennai with the IT hub along OMR, extending from Taramani to Sipkat. The corridor is primarily elevated to navigate the densely built urban landscape, featuring 19 stations from Nehru Nagar to Sipkat. The elevated design is intended to minimize disruption to existing road traffic while providing an efficient transit solution for commuters. Detailed Analysis of Construction Segments 
section from Sholingen Aller to Sipkat. The section from Sholingen Aller to Sipkat, a crucial part of Corridor 3, covers the OMR stretch and includes the construction of an elevated metro line with 19 stations. After months of suspension, the construction is set to resume. A small ceremony was held to mark the beginning of the piling work, and full-scale construction is expected to commence soon. Contracts and work allocation, the work is divided into two segments. Nehru Nagar to Sholingen Aller Sholingen Aller to Sipkat Despite initial delays, efforts are being made to expedite the construction process. Equipment and piling rigs are being mobilized to speed up the work. Construction challenges and resumption. The construction between Sholingen Aller and Sipkat, a part of Corridor 3, was halted due to the termination of a subcontractor's contract. This segment, divided into two contracts, Nehru Nagar to Sholingen Aller and Sholingen Aller to Sipkat, saw delays due to unspecified reasons. CMRL has now engaged a new subcontractor, and a ceremonial event recently marked the resumption of piling work. Technical Specifications and Current Status Piling work Piling work has already begun in several parts of the stretch, but progress near Sipkat has been minimal. The new subcontractor is expected to focus simultaneously on resuming pile cap work where piling has started and initiating piling work towards Sipkat. The initial piling work has resumed, with efforts to catch up on lost time. Equipment and resources are being mobilized to expedite the process. Expected delays, the project has encountered a three to four month delay due to the previous contractor issues. However, officials are optimistic that the new contractor can make up for some of the lost time, though some delays are still anticipated. Timeline and future expectations. Expected completion. The Sholingen Aller to Sipkat stretch is expected to be operational by 2027, barring further delays. Phase 2 segments opening, portions such as Punamali Porer and Madhavram Rettery are anticipated to open by 2026. The entire Phase 2 project aims for completion by 2028. Fast track construction on OMR IT corridor. Taramani to Sholingen Aller section. Construction of 10 elevated metro stations on the OMR IT corridor between Taramani and Sholingen Aller is scheduled to begin in June, just before the southwest monsoon, aiming to stay on track despite seasonal challenges. This 10 km stretch is part of the larger 45.4 km Corridor 3. This section is crucial as it lies in the IT corridor, which is a significant employment hub in Chennai. Construction Milestones Pillars, out of the 449 pillars required, 191 have been constructed. Uke girders, 65 of the 450 uke girders, essential for supporting the tracks, have been installed. Height, the elevated line will be constructed at heights ranging from 13 meters to 24 meters above the center of the road. Timeline and future work. Station construction, scheduled to start in June 2024, before the onset of the southwest monsoon. Land acquisition for station entrances and exits is in progress. Completion, the Taramani to Sholingen Aller section is projected to be completed by next year, making it one of the fastest moving sections of the Phase 2 project. Sholingen Aller to Sirusuri Sipkat section. This section, extending from Sholingen Aller to Sirusuri Sipkat, has faced delays due to contractual issues. However, Plans are in place to address these issues and move forward with construction. Impact on the IT Corridor The OMR, known as Chennai's IT Corridor, is set for a significant transformation with the construction of the metro. The elevated metro line from Taramani to Sirusuri Sipkat will streamline travel for thousands of IT professionals, reducing travel time and alleviating traffic congestion. Overall Project Timeline and Future Prospects the IT corridor on OMR will be linked by a 20 km elevated line from Taramani Metro to Sirusuri Sipkat, divided into two sections. While construction is ongoing for the Taramani Sholingen Aller section, work on the Sholingen Aller Sirusuri Sipkat section had been delayed due to contract issues. Expected Openings 2025, 
the first part of the Phase 2 project is expected to open, which will include sections of the corridors that have progressed significantly. 2026, sections like Punamali to Porer and Madhavram to Red Terry are likely to be operational. 2027, the Sholinganalar to Sipkit stretch is expected to open, assuming there are no significant delays. 2028, the final segments of the 116.1 km Phase 2 project are projected to be completed, fully operationalizing the extended metro network. Efforts to Mitigate Delays CMRL is taking proactive steps to minimize delays and ensure the timely completion of the project. This includes closely monitoring contractor performance, expediting resource mobilization, and focusing on critical sections to make up for lost time. Conclusion The Chennai Metro Phase 2 project is a significant undertaking that aims to transform urban transportation in Chennai. Despite facing challenges, particularly along the OMR, the project is back on track with renewed efforts and strategic planning. The resumption of work on the Sholinganalar Sipkit stretch marks a significant milestone in Chennai Metro's Phase 2 project. With substantial progress in other segments, the entire project promises to enhance Chennai's public transportation system, fostering economic growth and improving quality of life for its residents. Continued focus on timely execution and effective management of construction activities will be crucial in achieving the project goals within the stipulated timelines. The successful completion of this phase will not only enhance connectivity but also alleviate traffic congestion, contributing to the overall development of the city. Stay tuned for further developments on these projects. Do let us know your thoughts on the subject in the comments section. My friend, if you have found any value in this video, then kindly click on like button so that it will be recommended to other like-minded viewers and also as an encouragement to create better quality content. Please share this video amongst your family members, friends, and in your social media network so that this information might benefit others. Don't forget to subscribe to SciTech Buzz One channel so that you will not miss out on any of our forthcoming videos. Thank you.